The attack on Leonard Volkov in Lithuania, Vilnius, this evening is a demonstration of the far reach of Putin's thugs and a demonstration again of why it's so important that those who wish to resist Putin's um, aggression, people like President Zelensky and the Ukrainian um, citizens who are fighting back um, Putin's invasion, uh, those people who have been imprisoned for being politically aligned to the wrong group, to the group that is um, in opposition to Putin, why it's so important to stand with these people and why Putin must be resisted. Because this is the way Putin behaves. Putin believes he can act with impunity, and when even the Pope starts talking about waving a white flag and surrendering to this monster, we must wonder how far that reach can be. How terrifying must this man be? He is terrifying. He is a monster. And he seems to know no no boundaries. And whether he's dead or alive, that influence of evil. This is a man who has touched evil. I thought when he invaded Ukraine that there was a possibility, that there was a small hope that he could turn around. Turn around. But he can't. But he can't, and if he's dead, it's well beyond that point now. This is a man who has sold his soul to Satan, who is an obstacle to good. And those in his country and beyond who see him as an inspiration, as a beacon of hope as an icon of independence are deluded. This man is an image of one thing only, and that is evil. And his that evil is shown daily, daily, daily in the actions and the activities of his henchmen, his thugs, his goons, as indeed is demonstrated this evening in Vilnius, where the Putin was directly ordering an attack on this man who has spearheaded Alexei Navalny's public image or whether it was somebody acting um, because he thought Putin would be pleased. It doesn't matter. It's the inspiration of a thug. It's the inspiration of Putin. And I'm sure that inspiration will continue long, long into the future, because that's the nature of evil. I'm so sorry. <laughs>